Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time, but this video is gonna be worth the wait because I'm coming at you with the Mothership 5 palette. I'm gonna do a review, demo, I'm gonna go through all the things, if it's worth the money or not, and I'm also going to recreate one of the looks on Pat McGrath's Instagram and do a compare and contrast and see if it really looks the same or if the filters kind of make it seem more than what it is. If you wanna see my opinions on this palette and a demo of it, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, first things first, starting off with the packaging. Now, Pat McGrath, obviously everyone talks about how cool the packaging is. I do like this. I mean, the artwork on the carton is really cool and it has this cool little twisty off thing that has it inside. Um, I already took the palette out, but I mean, it's cool, but it's a piece of cardboard. I, out of all the exterior packaging that I've had on fancy props before, I don't think this is that great. It's cool, whatever, but this is definitely not a reason to get the palette if you think it's gonna be wrapped really cool, not it. When you open it up inside, you get the little sheet that has all the names on it. So don't use this if you're trying to follow, or don't lose this if you're trying to follow one of her tutorials, because you definitely need to know what shade it is. Now, as far as the palette, please ignore how dirty mine is because I've been using it a ton. But this is extremely luxurious. It is heavy. Like this, you could honestly lift weights with this. It is really heavy. And it has a gold back that looks super cool. And then you open it up and you've got a mirror, which is really nice. And then you have all the shades, obviously. Mine has been well loved, but for good reason. And I'll definitely insert swatches at the end. But I definitely would just wanna go ahead and dive right into it. The picture that I'm going to be comparing it to today is called a Gal Galaxy Quest. And I'll insert the photo from her Instagram right here. This is what I'm gonna be recreating. So now let's just go ahead and dive right in and see if I can recreate the look. So I'm gonna be reading the directions like right off her Instagram post of what she said. And the first thing is to blend entrapment through the crease. Entrapment is this right here. Now I know you might look at that and think, okay, that's kind of a dark transition shade. But honestly, it looks really good. Like even on my super pale skin, I like the way this looks. So I'm just gonna start and blend through the crease. So this is what, one of the things that I absolutely love about this palette, which kind of makes it, <laughs> kind of, fully makes it worth the money. It is so easy to blend. I mean, you saw me put that pigment on my eye. I mean, and that was really intense. It's so easy to blend. So I'm just gonna put this through the crease and that was literally one tiny little dip. I'm gonna take a bit more and just kind of build it up on the outer corner, just like this, through the crease. Okay, easy, done. The next thing that it says is define the outer and inner part of the lid with extreme aubergine on a flat, pigment on a flat brush. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, yeah. This is extreme aubergine, this really pretty like dark purpley color. Um, now it says put it on a flat brush. So let's see, I'll use this, okay. So I'm gonna take the end of this brush, it's like an Urban Decay brush. And it's a little big, but I don't have a smaller one with me, so I'm just gonna make it work. And it says, on a flat brush, and define the outer and inner part of the lid. Okay, so outer and inner part of the lid. I'm just gonna pack that on like this and define that. Literally just defining it, not blending it at all. Okay, go to the inner corner. This is where I really wish I had a smaller brush, but you win some, you lose some. Okay, then it says to take that same shade and to lightly blend it through the crease. I'm assuming to connect these two. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just really lightly. Okay. 
for the next step, it says to go ahead and take this rose gold shade 05 and to pack it with a flat brush in the center of my lid. Um, now, one thing I'm going to do, because I have been using this palette, it does have, on the mattes, you can definitely see, I mean, I used a couple things. Don't have a mixing medium, but I do have some setting spray that I'm going to use. And then I have used this palette before. So I do know with that shade and the glittery ones in general, they do have fallout and it will get glitter on your face, which is why I normally use a glitter glue, but don't have it with me right now. It is indisposed. So I'm definitely going to use the mixing mini or the setting spray. And I'm also going to pack on powder underneath my eye to catch the fallout. I didn't have to do that with the matte shades though, because as you can see, literally zero fallout. And I use the absolute darkest shade in the palette. It was gorgeous, blends like a dream. Honestly, I've never used matte shades that blend like this where it's so easy. You can just put it on your lid and do two swipes and it's blended. I mean, it's crazy. You can definitely see that's why this has such a high price point because the quality is incredible. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack some powder under my eye and then I'll be right back and put on that sparkling shade. So now I'm just gonna take this little flat brush. I'm going to wet it a little bit because it's the closest I have to a mixing medium and go right in with that rose gold shade. It's so pretty. I want to rub it all over my body. Oh my God. I'm just looking at it in the pan right now. And then it says to pack this on the lid. So that is what I will do. I shall pack. Oh, that's that thing that Jaclyn Hill does when she loves the shade. She goes, <laughs> but that's, that's what this makes me feel right now, putting this on my lid. So that is what I'm doing. I'm putting it in the center of my lid, mainly in the parts where I didn't put that shade. Okay, well, that's gorgeous. And you could honestly stop here. So, so, so pretty. Okay, now that that's on there, it says to press VR Fire Opal, which is this like duo chromey shade down here, which I actually think is probably my favorite shade. No, the red is my favorite shade, but it's one of my favorite shades in the palette. It's so pretty. And it says to press this on the center of the lid. So I'm actually gonna be taking my finger, which as you can see, it has this like pinky green hue to it. That's just gorgeous. I'm going to pack that in the center of my lid kind of leaving that rose gold above it. I think I did that a little bit more than her picture. That was a little bit more, but I still actually really likes, I really likes, I really like the way that looks. Okay, that seems to be it for the upper part of the lid. So I'm actually going to take a brush and just wipe this powder away. You can see like the glitter that did fall out on my face, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal. You can just wipe it away, see? No thing. And if I had used a glitter glue, it wouldn't have fallen down. So, I mean, there is that. Now it just wants me to go ahead and define the lower lash line, starting with extreme aubergine, that deep purple shade. And I'm like looking at the picture as I'm doing this. Okay. So I'm just going to connect that to the outer corner and define the entire lower lash line with this and connect it up. Now that I've gone ahead and just defined the lower lash line with that deep purple color, it says to go back in with the rose gold pigment. So I did add some more powder on a small detail brush. So that's what I'm gonna be using. And it says to apply that in the lower lash line in the middle. So that is what we will be doing. I'm applying it right in the center. Okay, pretty, pretty. And then for the last step, it says to take that fire opal shade again and define the lower lash line, just putting it right in the center. Okay. Oh my God, that looks cool. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that shade. It's so weird. Cause like looking at it on camera, it definitely had, like I'm looking in the mirror. It's like a greenish purpley eye. So cool. But when I look at the palette from the side, it hundred percent looks pink. So it just goes with that rose gold. So pretty. 
For the last step, it says to go ahead and take this, what is this called? Skin Show Divine Glow and put this in the inner corner. And I think I'm also going to highlight my brow bone with it. This is just like a really pretty golden shade, which if you were just trying to do like an everyday look, you could definitely take that brown um, color that we used in our crease, just do that, throw that all over the lid, gorgeous. I'm also gonna take this and define my brow bone with it. Oh, I am loving how that turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this away. Okay, so I absolutely love how that turned out. It's gorgeous. I don't know if it looks the exact same as the photo. I think hers is a little bit more pink, but um, I do love the way it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on and do the other eye, and then I'll be right back. So as you can see, this is the final look with lashes and a little bit of eyeliner. I think it looks so cool. This is perfect for like a party or if you just wanna wear this to work and be extra bold, you totally can. And the duo chrome shadow is so cool. I mean, it goes from green to pink and I just think it's gorgeous. As far as my thoughts on the actual Mothership 5 palette, I am obsessed with this. Like I'm obsessed with this palette. The main reason that I actually bought it, which is not the shade I use today, is because of this red shade. Oh my God, like that all over the lid smoked out with a wing liner. I mean, I'm done, like it's so gorgeous. The mattes in here blend amazing. The pigment on these, I mean, I've never owned shadows like this and I own a ton of high-end shadows. I love eyeshadow palettes. It's like my favorite thing on earth to buy. I've never owned anything like this. And I think that if you are a makeup lover, like freak, it's worth the money. It's honestly worth the money. It's really good quality. And as long as the colors speak to you and really draw you to it, then I think you should totally get it. Cause some of the other palettes I've seen before from Pat McGrath, I haven't been as drawn to. It was like, oh, that's pretty, but I don't need it in my life. This, I needed it in my life. I needed it to breathe, to eat, to function, to go to work. Like I need this palette. And I think that you can create so many different looks with it. You can do party looks, you can do everyday looks. Um, it works great. I actually did a wedding last weekend um, for a bunch of bridesmaids and a bride. And I used this palette for the mattes in it. And I mean, it was just like, it's just so easy. It's foolproof. It's a foolproof palette. And I think it's worth the money. I do think that if you're not a makeup freak, <laughs> like it's, you're not going to think that it's worth it because you're probably not going to use some of the more bold shades, sparkly shades. So I don't think it's worth it in that aspect, but if you're obsessed like I am, it's worth the money and it works great and I totally recommend it. So that's gonna be it for this video. Another eyeshadow palette that I probably didn't need, but after I bought it, I needed it in my life is complete. <laughs> so if you like this video and you want me to review any more things, go ahead and leave requests down below. I obviously always need an excuse to buy makeup. <laughs> and I really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to click the like button, comment and subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified when I post new videos, which after this are coming every single week. I promise I am back on my filming schedule and I'll be posting again. So I really appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.